Oh, Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Ooh, Rachel Zegler doubled down, everybody, and in a move that I honestly do consider shocking. I mean, we hadn't heard anything about her for probably a month or more. You know, after the Snow White debacle and all the incredibly dumb things she said, she went radio silence, and I just assumed it was because she actually was listening to all the backlash and was just hiding under the rock of shame, but no, she's back. And she's doubling down. Welcome back to Words of Paradise. I'm your host, Leon Idol. We're going to get into this. We're going to figure out what Rachel Zegler had to say, how she can be so comically brain dead, and get into what Bounding into Comics has to say about it, despite the fact that I don't consider them the greatest source in the world. But before that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to the 2,000 subscriber mark before the end of the year, and we are just shy of 300 subscribers away. So, I know that you guys can do it. I know you want to hear it. Get the nerdy news every day, sometimes multiple times a day. Let's get to this article about the Zegfest, shall we? Now, like I said, this is Bounding Into Comics. Bounding Into Comics, you know, they're the Kotaku, the Mary Sue, the Polygon of the right wing. Not exactly my favorite to go to site. I mean, I would prefer something a bit more partial down the middle. But you either got them or, you know, Mary Sue, Polygon, all those others on the left. There's not really a good impartial nerdy news site. So we're going to go with Bounding Into Comics for this one because y'all know that what they have to say is probably more accurate than what Polygon would say. The Hunger Games actress Rachel Zegler plays victim, claims she only received backlash for being out spoken. That is such a female thing to say. Like, you're only mad at me because I'm speaking up. No, no, no. I'm, I'm mad at you because you're speaking up and saying something that's stupid. Something that's a bit retarded. Like, I love it when, when strong women speak up, but you gotta be right. If you can't be right, be pretty. And in the case of Rachel Zegler, Hey, she's neither. Let's be real. I mean, maybe she's moderately cute, maybe, but oh man, she's gonna have a long road ahead of her. Actress Rachel Zegler, who plays Lucy Gray Baird in the upcoming Hunger Games The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, or as I prefer to call it, Hunger Games, the largest flop in the series thus far, recently addressed the backlash she's received for her comments about Snow White, as well as her defamation of actors Jeremy Renner and Gina Carano. Well, she doesn't really speak about the Jeremy Renner and Gina Carano stuff, but, you know, it, again, bounding in the comics. The rap list Zegler is one of their trailblazers for their Latino power list 2023. I'm gonna be uh, anyone Latino in the comments, just anyone at all. How many of you even knew this list existed, let alone actually read through it and thought, I identify with these individuals because I highly doubt that there is just this list marketed to Latinos everywhere for the Latino Trailblazers, uh, sorry, the Trailblazers of Latino Power in 2023. That just doesn't sound like something I've ever heard anyone talk about, and I've been covering this sort of nerdy news sort of stuff in some way, shape, or form since about 2015, give or take. Not always on YouTube, but this has been a realm that I've had experience in for almost a decade now, so I just I just have a feeling that when IJP Mexican or any of the other Latino viewers I know that I usually have sees this, they're gonna be like, the, the shit is this trailblazer for Latino power list? As part of her entry, Zegler informed the outlet, it's an honor to be recognized in a way that both celebrates our heritage and lifts up the contributions we will we all make to the industry, or we can particularly hard for us to be seen and heard in a meaningful way. How is it hard for you to be seen and heard in a meaningful way? Like, like I gotta know, because last I checked, there are a gajillion Latino actors out there, most that people love. Antonio Banderas, ben Benicio Del Toro, um... You know, uh, what John Leguizamo, the dude that everybody hates now because he's always on and on about this stupid representation stuff, but he had a pretty decent reputation, you know, before he went on this crusade. Like, individuals have never had an issue casting Latinos. You're literally making this up, and you probably don't even care to recognize the Latino individuals that came before you. Jennifer Lopez. You think that the Jennifer Lopez is sitting here crying about how her people don't get roles? I mean, it's 2023. Maybe she is. She's a celebrity, so she's got to complain about something controversial and race related, but thus far I haven't seen her do it, so I'm going to say she hasn't. Latinos have never really, at least in my lifetime, for about 30 years now, had problems in Hollywood. You're making this up. She continued, I still don't think I'm quite ready for the life I have, despite being extremely grateful for every opportunity it's brought me. I highly doubt you're grateful, considering every way you've ever acted and every interview I've ever seen. Zegler then shared some advice to those seeking to become actors in Hollywood. Whoa, hold up, hold up. This girl's sharing advice? Let's take a quick glance at her filmography. West Side Story, flop. Shazam Fury of the Gods, massive flop. Hunger Games, tracking having a 
atrocious opening weekend. Snow White, gonna be the biggest disaster since Disney's last biggest disaster. This girl doesn't know how to pick them, guys. I don't know why she wants to go ahead and give advice to actors in Hollywood. She's never been in an actually successful film. To young Latino performers coming up in the industry, I would tell them to know their worth. Well, you don't know your worth because you're worthless, like, you, yeah, you think you have something to say, something to add to the conversation. Again, like, all of her ridiculous statements about Disney, Snow White, wokeism, all of that aside, she has not been in a successful movie yet. Make sure they're loud about having seats at the tables they deserve to be at. No, they don't deserve to be there. Just on the merit of them being Latino, on the merit of their skin color, they do not deserve to be there. And of course, we have to tell some inbred moron like this that that's the case, but clearly she doesn't understand the concept of working for what you've got, which is very crazy considering she's Latino, which is a very hardworking people nine times out of ten, but you know, sometimes apples fall far from the tree. No, you do not deserve any seat at the table just for your skin color, whether you be white, black, Asian, Cuban, whatever, doesn't matter. You get there with hard work, determination, and, you know, excellence. Something that you have not displayed because, once again, Shazam! Fury of the Gods was a flop. That Steven Spielberg West Side Story remake, massive flop. And Hunger Games and Snow White are going to be flops. Tell me why you deserve a spot at that table. You deserve a spot at the children's table at best. Finally, she addressed the backlash she received while positioning herself as a victim. I have learned the hard way that we have to be fearless and loud in order to be heard, and to prepare for the backlash that occasionally comes with that outspokenness. Oh, honey, you missed the point. No one cares if you're outspoken. We care that you're dumb. Like, like, look, outspoken people who are wrong are usually incredibly annoying. For example, you ever met a flat earther? They're insufferable, and they think they're the most intelligent individuals on the planet, that all 112 flat earthers left have really got it just figured out. That's what you are. You're the flat earther of the Hollywood gang, of the acting community. Rachel Zegler, the flat earther of the Hollywood community. That's the problem with your outspokenness. It's not because, you know, you are outspoken. It's because what you choose to speak out about is so mind-numbingly aimless that we just have to sit back and make fun of you. You give actors a bad name, and most actors didn't have a very good name to begin with. Yeah, it's actually impressive that she came out of this and decided it would be a good time to speak up now. I mean, she couldn't actually talk about movies or anything to that effect because the the strike is still ongoing. So she just had to sort of make these blanket statements that covered everything. And in a way, I mean, it, it worked. Hey, it gave us something to talk about. But I'm actually truly baffled that she even had the stones to do so. I have to wonder if it was some sort of PR move or, you know, she's got an agent or somebody saying, it's been a while, people are still making videos about you on the internet, you gotta get out there and say something. But if that was the case, if it was a PR team, I would think they would have wrote something better for her. So, nah, this could have just been Rachel Zegler on a whim being like, I'm gonna address these controversies and these conversations a month, month and a half after they've more or less died out and people are on to bigger, better things like making fun of Robin Hood. Like, I'm so baffled as to where this came from, why this came from, but I also can't complain about it because it brings a smile to my day. It warms my heart when I see morons in Hollywood continue to be out of touch morons in Hollywood because I never want to be blackpilled. I think that we can fix this. I think the situations can get better. I mean, again, we had that talk with Director X. We've seen movies like Oppenheimer and Super Mario be you know, good movies, Killers of the Flower Moon I hear is great, and it had a pretty good opening at the box office. All in all, we're seeing some bastions of artistic expression, free speech, you know, values that people do seem to care about. We are seeing those slowly creep back in, and conversations being had about them. And just when I think, you know what? Things are working out. They're swinging back the right way. Something like this happens to come crashing back and remind me, Oh, Leon, you silly goose. We still have so much cringe before Hollywood entertainment and pop culture is back to normal. And I'm here for it. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Or let me know on X where you can find me at Bolt the Word. And please do subscribe. I am a nerdy news channel. I cover nerdy news every day. Not always about, you know, woke disasters like the upcoming Snow White film. But, you know, anime, movies, video games, you name it. Go ahead and check me out on Instagram at Words of Paradise underscore Leon. And again, do subscribe. I'm trying to hit the 2,000 subscriber mark before the end of the year, and we are so incredibly close, and you can be a part of it. But until next time, it's all here in the Nerdosphere. This has been Words of Paradise.